Hey, welcome to Physics Everywhere. In this video, we're going to look at converting degrees Fahrenheit into degrees Celsius. So here we've got our thermometer. One side is Celsius, the other side is Fahrenheit. Most people have a thermometer that looks something like this. You'll notice that zero degrees Celsius is somewhere in the neighborhood of just over 30 degrees Fahrenheit. We'll talk about that more in a second. Uh, there is something interesting about these two scales, and here is a graph of Fahrenheit and Celsius. They actually line up at minus 40 degrees. So minus 40 degrees Celsius is equal to minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit. So temperature scales have set points. For the Celsius set points, it's water freezing at zero, water boiling at 100. For Fahrenheit, water is freezing at 32, which we saw on the thermometer above, and water boils at 212. So here is part of the mathematical relationship between Celsius and Fahrenheit. One degree Celsius is equivalent to 1.80 degrees Fahrenheit. One degree Fahrenheit is equal to 0.55 degrees Celsius. Or if we want to use fractions like they do in quite a few of calculations, one degree Celsius is equivalent to nine-fifths of a degree Fahrenheit. Or one degree Fahrenheit is equivalent to five-ninths of a degree Celsius. So this is not the total conversion because there's also the fact that the scales don't initially line up. So this is the actual formula for doing the conversion. So if I want to know my temperature in degrees Celsius, I have to take the temperature as given in Fahrenheit. I have to subtract 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Then I'll be multiplying it by this ratio of 5 ninths, which is degrees Celsius per degree Fahrenheit. So for our first calculation, we want to convert 70 degrees Fahrenheit into Celsius. So this is our equation. I will take my temperature in Fahrenheit and I'll place it in here and that'll be our first step. Okay, so I've placed in my 70 degrees Fahrenheit. So we'll now do 70 minus 32 and we'll just go step by step. Okay, so when we do that, we get 38 degrees Fahrenheit multiplied by this ratio of 5 ninths degrees Celsius per degrees Fahrenheit. So we do 38 times 5, we're multiplying the numerators, we'll leave the 9 on the bottom, which gives us 190 Fahrenheit over 9. We've got degrees Fahrenheit on the top, we've got degrees Fahrenheit on the bottom, so those simply disappear. And our calculation is now 190 divided by 9. And the only unit left is degrees Celsius on the top. Okay, so we punch that into our calculator. 190 divided by 9 is 21.11111. And again, all we have is a degree Celsius on the top. And so there's our degree Celsius. If we go back and look at our original question, it was 70.0 degrees Fahrenheit, so this is one, two, three significant digits, which means our final answer can only be three significant digits. So we can't have 21.111, too many significant digits. So our final answer will be 21.1 degrees Celsius. Let's take a look at a second example. In this case, we want to convert 98.0 degrees Fahrenheit into Celsius, and that's actually approximately body temperature. So here's our equation a second time. Uh, we're going to be putting in our 98.0 degrees Fahrenheit right here, and then we'll start doing our calculation. So, 98.0 degrees Fahrenheit, subtract 32 degrees Fahrenheit, we'll do what's inside the bracket first. So 98 subtract 32 is 66 degrees. So now we've got 66 degrees Fahrenheit, we're going to multiply it by the 5 on top. And 66 times 5 is 330 degrees Fahrenheit. And now we will have our degrees Fahrenheit, which is on the top, canceling off with the degrees Fahrenheit on the bottom. So now we will have 330 degrees Celsius divided by 9. And when you put that into your calculator, it will give you 36.66666 degrees. Our original question was only three significant digits, which means our final answer can only be three. So the final answer to correct sig digs will be 36.7 degrees Celsius. So this is approximate body temperature in degrees Celsius. So there is the methodology for converting Fahrenheit to Celsius with a couple of examples.